I am Nathaniel and today we are now going to do question 4 of step 3, 2021. Question 4, part 1. Sketch the curve y equals the x times e to the power of x. We all know that e to the power of x is the wonderful exponential graph, looking like this. But what about x times that? Well, we all know x times 0 is 0, so it should cross the origin. Since e to the power of x is greater in growing, in shrinking actually, than x, we can see it has an asymptote at y equals to 0 when x tends to negative infinity. And since both functions are actually positive, the gradient should increase and increase until it looks like this. Now, what is the stationary point? To find the stationary point, we have to do an integration. The x times e to the power x, the negative thing is surprisingly easy. It is just this, by product rule. So, to find a stationary point, we have to find dy over dx equals to 0. Then e to the power x, x plus 1 equals to 0 because we can factorize this expression. Now, x plus y equals to 0, x equals to negative 1. And e to the power x can never, ever equal 0. So this means y is equal to negative e to the power of negative 1. So the stationary point is at negative 1, negative e to the power of negative 1, n is a minimum. The function f is defined by this where a is the minimum possible value such that f has an inverse function. Now, in order to have an inverse function, f has to be a 1-1 one, one function. Therefore, this should be greater than its minimum point. Because before that, we will have two values for the same y and it's still not 1-1. One, one. So this means that a is equal to negative 1. Let g be the inverse of f. If g is the inverse of f, Let's draw f. We're including the bit here for a change. Sketch so the curve y goes to g to the g of x. G x is just f of x um, reflected to a x because that's the also the definition of an inverse function. So then we stop there because the function will not be one one after that. It will be many one instead. Now each of the following equation find a real root in terms of a value of the function g. So let us call this function w instead of g because w of x or the Lambert w function is the most commonly accepted name. Let us find a view for these. So, here we go. If we mul so for part a, let us multiply both sides by e to the power of x. This will get x e x equals to 1 over 5 and then x is equal to w of 1 over 5. 2x log x plus y equals to 0. x log x. We have to solve for x log x. Why? Because if you take the exponential of both sides, you get x times e to the power of x. x equals to w e to the power of negative half. And we have been done with part b. Part c. 3x log x plus 1 is 0. Since the x we can just change it to w e to the power of negative 1 over 3 and it still works because it is less than minus e to the power of negative 1 and x equals to 3 ln x so i don't know why i haven't thought of this before but we are going to divide both sides by x and then 3 for good measure now we are going to take the ln x and make it negative 1 over x so negative 1 over x log negative 1 over negative 1 over x log 1 over x equals to 1 over 3 due to reciprocal law for logarithms. So 1 over x e to the power of 1 over x equals 2 e to the power of negative 1 over 3. And then the equation just becomes w e to the power of negative 1 over 3. Well, that's it for this video and see you in another step video.